How's it going, YouTubers? All right, one of my subscribers, Leland, um, he hooked me up with one of his connections, and we went marble hustling today. So stick around, and I will go through these, and we'll show you the pile here. This is what I. This is new to the collection. I'm gonna be adding today. Um, I believe this one here is a Pelletier. Nice wet mint. Thought I'd do a little video for you guys here. The sun's a shining in nice. So, anyways, this is what I recovered from another collector today. We'll call it from the wild, but when you're when somebody else already discovered them and they're in their collection, that's why I always point out, it's not as hard to find a good pile of good quality marbles when you're handpicking someone else's collection. So, he only let us handpick a very s small amount, because uh, this guy had a stellar collection. He'd like to remain anonymous. So, anyways, I will share some of his marbles. I thought this was awesome. It's got a rust stain on it, and I'm sure I can get that off, guys. Look at that pink lined vitro helmet look at that thing see that isn't that awesome the vitro helmet is one of my favorite vitros i like a lot of the tri lights too here's a new marble i picked up today guys and i believe this to be an alley agate but i wouldn't bet my life on it i would bet that it is a west virginia swirl so that pretty much covers the bases there. It could be some of those uh, other companies, you know. I'm not real good with the Kairos or the Heatons or any of that stuff. So, you know, I'm not saying it is definitely. That's just my opinion out there. So, and it's yellow and white. Look at that. Here's another one I picked up today. Nice wet mint. Um, we'll say this is an alley also, but it could be one of those West Virginia swirls again, guys. So it isn't, it is a West Virginia swirl, whether or not it's an alley, I'm not for certain. I am certain this one's an alley. Check that out, guys. That's a stunner right there. This was, uh, has one air bubble pop on it, but other than that, it's... A really nice marble. I'm happy to add that to my collection. And I'm really happy to add this one. I haven't cleaned it up yet. It looks like it's got some film or dirt on it. And this is a master. And it's got a uh, red and pink. Let me see if I can just set it down and the camera will focus. There you go. Now you can see a little better. At first I thought it was an onion skin when I first picked it up. But it's got the master's cut lines on it it's definitely a master so that's a new master i picked up today guys sorry about the phone going goofy here's something that's hot as fire in today's world check this out i picked three of these out of the guy's collection and uh he only let me have two of them so thank you very much for letting me have two of them it's a lined crockery it's kind of like a bennington but it's called a lined crockery and here's Benny sitting right next to him. Here's a new Bennington I got for the collection. Check that thing out. If you guys aren't impressed by that and you're not smashing my thumb, then uh, you're just not impressed with crockery marbles. That's all there is to it. Because uh, I'm looking out for you guys and I'm bringing you some really good stuff here. And uh, with the help of one of my subscribers. So through the marble community, everybody, of me creating this channel, I'm getting all these marbles. So, um... Without my loyal subscriber Leland there in his connection, we wouldn't have these today. And I wouldn't be able to make this video. Here's another master I got. Um, I let Leland pick first because it was his um, it was his connection. So you know, you guys really in my book, marble etiquette is if your friend takes you to his connection house, you let him get what he wants first only right and then you pick at what's left so Leland got some really good marbles today and uh, I got some really good marbles it was an awesome day check this out this is a vitro tri -light, guys I believe it's got nice lavender and green base so I got another vitro helmet right here to show you just 
red, white, and blue, but these are a little different. If you look, it's clear with uh, blue stripes in the glass. There we go. Get the camera to focus. You see that? These are the first helmets I have that have actually have clear glass with blue striping through the helmet. So, you know, I don't have a whole lot of vitros, but anyways, there's my two cents on that. Here's another nice alley agate or West Virginia swirl. And uh, he gave me this one. I said, what do you want for this old out of round thing? This one's all out of round, but anyways, it's an awesome marble. It's so there's another one. Another nice West Virginia swirl. showed you guys that one here we got an acro agate special onyx or a, a snake see how the white corkscrew is on the outside of the glass that makes it a snake if the corkscrew went through the middle of the glass it would be an auger so all right guys here's another crockery this belongs over here with Benny. Look at that crockery. There's a lined crockery, and it's got eyes on it. So I thought that was an oddity, to get a crockery with eyes on it. So Because most of the lined crockeries that I see never have any eyes on them. So, you know, this one's got a couple little eyes on it there. So check that out, guys. Very nice stuff. Very nice stuff. So... Leland, you definitely delivered today. So one more shout out to Leland. I think he got several there today. So I believe that to be a master right there. Followed by a West Virginia swirl. So you guys know I try to always do something special for everybody that hung out to the end. This one here, I'm going to say I'm lost. So if you guys know the last machine made here, the green and yellow... Last machine made. If anybody knows what it might be, um, you know, comment sections down there. Let us know. You can see it's almost got like a Jabo butt crack in it there. A cold rolled seam where it was put together. And I was kind of thinking it might have been an acro cork that went all crazy with green and white wispy glass. But I don't really know what it is, guys. I'm lost. I don't really think it's an acro anymore the more I've examined it. But anyways, guys, there it is, green and yellow. And to everybody that stayed to the end, I'll give you a sneak peek at this. So to all my subscribers out there, thank you very much. It's been a fun rip. And uh, I plan on keeping it rolling. So if you like it, smash that thumb. Make sure to check back. And definitely don't forget to share some of these videos with your friends and family. Because uh, this stuff is worth money, folks. So, you know, you're getting a free education. So for the free education on antique glass marbles... Smash that thumb, subscribe, have a great day, be nice to your friends and neighbors, and uh, Leland hooked me up with these boxes, guys, so I'm going to make some sweet little marble sets, and in the future, we'll have another video on um, these nice little boxes here. Sorry, I can't open it right now, I'm one-handed. Later.